All right, well, today is a good day. It's Friday, the sun's shining. Gonna go for an adventure this weekend after Sarah gets off work. And a uh, package that I thought wasn't gonna make it, made it in the last minute. So I'm super stoked about this. This is the fridge freezer I've been uh, waiting on for quite some time now. I uh, managed to jump on a deal that was offered right from the manufacturer's website. 30% uh, off and free shipping. So, uh, you know, figured I might as well pull the trigger. I didn't really have to twist my wrist too hard. So, uh, came uh, in this box here, it looked pretty good. Pretty good uh, condition. They obviously listened to the sticker, which they rarely do. Uh, they rarely treat a fragile box like it's actually fragile, but everything looks great on the outside. And this is the angle uh, MR040, um, but uh, most of the time people just call it the MR40, uh, just because that's a little bit easier. But uh, so let's see what uh, what she looks like. It's packaged really well. Need a lot of recycling. funny the box marks the side that the compressor's on and you can definitely feel that like this side is way heavier um, let's see here. so what's really nice about this unit and I'll just turn it sideways is the way they designed it the hinge on the, or the clasp on this side and the hinge on this side are completely reversible so um, you know the only thing that'll stay connected is this uh, limitation strap here uh, but it's centered on both the lid and the container, so it doesn't matter, you don't have to move that. So it's literally four screws on this side, four screws on that side, uh, and then four screws on top. Possibly two on the back there. And, uh, nope, never mind. Uh, and, uh, and then you can sw switch it to, to either side. So uh, if it's convenient to have it open on one side versus the other, uh, you totally can do that, set it up, and then forget about it. Um, some spare hardware in here, not exactly sure what that's for yet. And then here's our rack and our electrical connections. So, so put our rack right straight back in. It fits nice and snug so there's not a lot of wasted space on there, so that's great. Alright, so, oh, I now know what this hardware is for. Here's our handles as well, so we got to install those. So a tiny little bit of assembly, but that's all right. And uh, so then we got our, our 12 volt plug that comes with the kit. And then our AC plug that comes with the kit to, uh, to run the 110 or 120, whatever it is. Uh, nice thing is also, you got a spot there to store it uh, when you're not using the other. That way you're not trying to figure out where the hell you put it last, so that's great. Um, but overall, first impressions, this thing's, this thing's built, built very well. It's going to take a beating. Uh, it looks to be all stainless steel, which is great, uh, which was the initial reason why they went to uh, a plastic on this unit is a little bit of a, a marine focus. But since we live out by the ocean here, I figured, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to grab the marine version, even though we're going to be on land with it. Um, dogs upstairs playing. Um, I have to read the instructions here, but it looks like you basically have from cool to freeze, uh, and uh, that's all you gotta plug in. Um, and it looks like there's a, a fuse on the front here. Yeah, so there's a, a 10 amp fuse on the front, uh, and then on the left, we've got a plug in here for the DC, and on the right, you have a plug in for the 120. Uh, volt alternating current uh, and you can't mix them up the uh, the ends on them are different so you, you don't even have to worry about screwing that up so uh, it's kind of Darwin proof there um, but uh, I'm gonna plug this in and see what uh, what it sounds like plugged in here just one sec all right so the installation of the handle is super simple uh, six screws, all Phillips stainless steel that are going to go into this ABS plastic handle. 
so if you just take a Phillips and there's one package with uh, enough hardware to do this, it's quite obvious that that's the uh, package you want to use. And uh, you just want to get one started so that it'll hold the handle in place while you pop in the rest of them. And uh, if you've any, ever screwed anything together before, this will be super, super easy. The, the dials super simple stuff um, you know you basically turn it off turn it anywhere between one and five five being cold and uh, one being cool uh, the instructions do say to uh, before you plug it into power always turn the unit all the way to off then plug it in then once it has power then turn the unit on All right, so I'm gonna turn it on here now that we've got power run to the unit. And uh, I'm really interested to see how loud or quiet this guy is when it turns on. So according to manual, the green light is good. There's a slight hum to the unit, but uh, it's pretty quiet. So it sounds like a, I guess an air compressor really. All right, well that's where we're gonna leave this video off at. Uh, we've had it for two weeks now, but I don't think that's long enough to do a proper review So we're gonna leave this as just an unboxing. We have learned a couple of lessons though uh, First being that the latch although it's kind of flimsy and seems weak It holds the lid closed and it hasn't given us any issues So uh, until it does we're gonna leave it as is but I've already got a few plans in the works for that uh, and then also we learned that uh, anything on the dial below or above uh, 1.5 is a little bit too cold um, for fresh vegetables. So uh, it's fine for beers, uh, anything that, uh, anything else that you wanna keep cold, but vegetables don't want to be below 1.5. So keep that in mind. Uh, so far we've just run it on our starter battery without any issue overnight. Uh, it's in the cab of the truck and we're in the rooftop tent, we can't hear it. Uh, so, so far I'm really impressed, super happy with it and uh, been enjoying the cold beers. So. Uh, stay tuned for a full review once we've had a little bit more experience with it and uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe so that we can uh, put together more. Alright, cheers.